Hello everyone. Hope you're doing well. Today it's been quite interesting. For about an hour I tried to fix the lighting because of the sunshine is uh, pretty glorious today. <laughs> After an hour when I got it all set, just made some tea and then by the time I got back to the <laughs> to the laptop <laughs> the sun had changed its, its location and the glare was always back on <laughs> on the screen so anyhow uh, I guess um, I, what I have in common with the high budget productions is that we all take time to uh, fix and organize the set and the lighting <laughs> for some of us it works for some it doesn't anyhow I'm happy to be here it's a Sunday uh, a Christmas day I hope that uh, wherever you are if you are a Christian or um, uh, affiliate with any religion um, I hope you'll have a wonderful Christmas and um, have a wonderful day with your family and may everything go as you planned um, what I want to talk to you today is a subject that we have discussed it in many different videos on my channel and as you know uh, my channel now has more than 270 videos at this time which about 120 videos are after 270 are not listed they are available to you uh, through my site mind that seeks truth.com where when you go there you will see the uh, VIP uh, videos uh, video VIP club it's called and for a nominal fee of uh, five dollars a month or maybe uh, whole year is twenty two dollars and very nominal you'll have access to all these hundred twenty extra videos um, on top of what is available for you uh, on this free channel um, and we also will have a Saturday talks about three hours um, from towards the end of January um, which you will be able to register for uh, three dollars and be participating in the webinar uh, the link will be on the site mind that seeks truth.com and it will guide you through how you can get to the webinar very easy very uh, simple and user friendly i believe and uh, you can ask your questions if your question comes to the screen and i can see it and find it or otherwise you can listen to the answers i give to the questions of many others around the world who ask and uh, about your relationship your breakups and um, whatever else that concerns you in life and this is the most economic way, way that I can make it available for you make support available to you as I know for many of you the one-on-one -on -one Skype consultation is very um, a workable thing but for many of you is a bit pricey um, so I'm trying to make this other system available to you so if you have some if you're going through some hardship uh, some relationship problems and so on we can talk about it uh, as quickly as possible with a very nominal fee that it wouldn't uh, put you out for too much <laughs> and at the same time there would be support for you um, you can also check on my site the books in the form of paper books and ebooks that you can you know purchase and enjoy and read and um, you know uh, add to your knowledge or you can give a gift uh, this holiday season that will support the channel of course and so on and and pretty soon uh, within a, a short while we will have some of these videos only pay-per-view and because we do have lots of costs to run this as I'm becoming more and more um, interested in and in, in um, uh, offering these supports on continuous basis and I love doing this so therefore there has to be some economical um, viability to it so we need to create this possibilities for the channel to pay for itself and to make it uh, possible uh, for me to continue at the echelon and the expansion that i hope to do now having said all that and uh, we like to attend to this topic of uh, discussion today you know we have discussed many times why you are so devastated after your breakup and again in this conversation I'm going to be using one type of relationship a man to a woman and um, if you're a lady you switch it around make it uh, make sense for you what I'm saying and if you have any other kind of uh, um, a relationship please uh, switch it around and make the roles to make sense to your 
um, uh, type of uh, um, relationship that you have so it will be usable and useful for everyone otherwise for me I'll just use one kind of a context as it would be very cumbersome to say he she he her him and so on so I'll lose the train of thoughts so having said that uh, let's imagine you have broken up with your girlfriend which if you're here you don't have to imagine you probably have broken up with her <laughs> <laughs> so, so <laughs> the question is why are you so devastated every time that you think of her and you still miss her and you want to get back to her even though you're clear that there obviously was some big problems and uh, things weren't working however when you think about your girlfriend your partner after the breakup you often simply totally are devastated and missing her and want to get back with her with her and uh, we want to explore why is that even though you just broke up and you know exactly why you broke up whether you initiated the broke up breakup or uh, she left um, whether it was for any kind of infidelity or it was simply you guys had grown apart or perhaps the reasons that existed when you guys got together no longer existed and for some reason one reason or another you guys are now have broken up but yet you still think you want her even though she may be with somebody else already and you know about it but still you miss her and you want her and all so forth and we want to discuss what is the depth of the psyche uh, that makes you still feel in this way rather than being very clear about it that it wasn't working and obviously I don't want to be with someone who doesn't want to be with me so let's go a little bit deeper as we have already gotten deep in other videos discussed uh, such topics but today we're going to look at it from a different angle so why is it that you still feel you want to be with your girlfriend and you miss your girlfriend even though you very well know it's not working so what comes to your mind that makes you miss her what is it that you bypass all these other information that you have about the relationship and what went on and the difficulties and differences and you know arguments and uh, differences in consciousness level and in um, identities and in uh, the order of life and things that you each wanted to do why is it knowing all that you still miss her and you want to get back with her despite of it all well, the question could simply be, the answer could be addressed in several different ways. Let me give you an example. If you're hungry and you think of a food that you like, whatever it may be, spaghetti, pizza, uh, chicken karage if it's a Japanese dish, any kind of a Chinese dish, chicken chow mein or uh, haga, yuchiga, anything that you like, or tandoori chicken, or korma sabzi, or um, bagali polo, chelo kebab, these are Persian foods, or I don't know, schnitzel test, the German food, goulash or borscht, Russian food, or perhaps it would be something totally different, uh, French, entrecote, maybe you like that very much. Whatever food it is that you like, if you think of it, why is it that you want that food why is it that you would crave it is it because of the name that you just remembered of the food is it because of the look of the fo food that comes to your mind when you think of that particular dish what is it that makes you want that food 
you all know that if you deep dig deeper you will know the reason that you crave and you want to have that food is not because of the name is not because of how it looks is not even because of how you remember taste of it it's because how well you know how you would feel after you had it and while you're having it it's because you are fully focused on the result of having had this food while you're having it and after you have it what it does for you how it makes you feel how pleasant you have that experience whenever you've had that food and finished it you're not concerned about the ingredients who made it how it turned out you're only concerned about the memory that you have of how you felt after the food was ingested or while you were eating the food let me give you another example let's say if you want to take a extraterrestrial trip if you want to go to Mars let's say any other planet other than where we are the earth and you have a ship you have a um, what is it uh, starship now your starship has got engine problems it's got electrical problems engine problems hull problems all kinds of challenges that it may very well and it will have these difficulties on the voyage and it would cause all kinds of trouble but when you think about going to Mars and this is the vehicle that you're in or you have all you're focused on how it would be wonderful to get to Mars you're not focused on the vehicle that you're going to be in and it's going to help you to get there or it's going to facilitate you to get there you're not thinking about the problems that this vehicle could have or does have the fact that you want to go to Mars and you're eager and excited to get there and you so crave it and want to is because you know how you feel when you get there how others think about you how you feel about you the new experience about being in Mars and all that but you totally forget about the problems that you will have on the way to Mars due to the vehicle that you are riding on and trying to um, coordinate yourself and partner up in a way to get you to Mars all the electrical problems engine problems and um, difficulties and differences are things that is not available on that ship you're not focused on that you're only focused about the end result how wonderful that is now having said these two examples which I hope it will help to pave the road for you to understand what I'm about to say is the same when you're thinking about your girlfriend when you think about the girlfriend all you're thinking about how you feel when you have had the pleasant time spent with her things you would do how you would feel places you would go how you would feel you'd play tennis together how you would feel you'd go to dinner together how you would feel you'd go on a date together how you would feel you'd have intimacy and sex together how you would feel how wonderful and exciting and climactic it is when you're with her and you have had these activities especially the intimacy part that is what your focal point of the memory is not about her it's about how you feel it's not about whom you're making love to it's about how you feel after you have made love to and because she's the one in your memory she's the last person that you've had the um, 
experience of intimacy with obviously she's the one you're thinking of so therefore all you're missing now by thinking of her is not her is the benefits and the feelings and the excitements and the climactic feelings that you would have by being with her so thinking of her reminds you of all these amazing emotions that creates in you and satisfaction of the intimacy and all that um, connection that we just talked about so as soon as you think of her the reason you miss her is not because you're focusing on the troubles that you had with her on the difficulties and differences that you had to with each other you're focusing on how you would feel the end results of the being together and the emotions and how you felt because of all those things that you did together the intimacy and the love and the sex and so on so you focus on that and that's what you miss that is what encourages you to want to have her back you're not focusing on the troubles that this ship will give you on the way to mars you're only focusing about how it feels to be on mars how fantastic it was because you were on mars once before and when you think about the food you're not thinking about what kind of allergies or what kind of a quality or what kind of a hygiene was used to prepare this food or difficulties that you had in digesting that food all you think is about how it made you feel while you were eating the food and how you felt after you finished your meal and it's not focusing on the actual name or the look of the meal it's focusing on how you felt after having had the meal same thing with when you think about your girlfriend that you just broke up you're not thinking about really the reason for missing her is her looks or who she is or the how she was behaving and you were behaving with, with her the interactions you're focusing on how wonderful you felt having been involved in a certain activity with her and that feeling and emotion is the focal point is at the foremost of your is top of your memory and that's what you remember and that's what you're focusing on that's where you're so encouraged to want to get back to with her and miss her so if you focus on this you will realize that what you're missing is the end result of being with a girlfriend your girlfriend is not being with her you're seeking that feelings and for that you're well aware that you can re replace that and go find someone else and bond with her and get to know her and then you will be able to have these activities together with that new person which will give you that feeling and emotion and the end result that you're hoping for which therefore you'll, no you'll notice you don't you're not really missing this person because there was a reason that you broke up and you don't have to miss her and the fact is you're focusing on how it makes you feel to have a girlfriend to be in love to make love to do things together and those feelings are what encourages you to miss the girlfriend and you think you're missing the person but in fact you're not if you focus on how this ship functions on the way to mars rather than getting to mars and how it feels to be there then you will know why you don't want to be on this ship and travel to mars with this ship and then you will not miss her that much perhaps it's something for you to think about and perhaps it will help you alleviate the feeling of missing her until the time passes and you will see the world is much bigger place and has a lot more to offer and many other relationships and wonderful women that you can bond with and have things in common and find uh, compatibility and enjoy your life and be happy again so hope it will be something for you to think about and i'll talk to you soon